Welcome back to my little channel. When I saw this, it kind of made my hair stand up on end. Now that sounds hyperbolic, I know, but the thing that constantly surprises me is that in the Western world, we have to have the smoothest back out there. We do. Because we constantly get told how we will be attacked, how we will be conquered, how we will be destroyed. And there isn't one politician out there, not one, who will say, this goes too far. We can't have this. I mean, let's be honest, Constantinople was once the capital of the Byzantine Empire, which was Greco-Roman, mostly Greco, but still uh, Roman as well. And they got overtaken by what we now know as Turkey, at the time the Ottoman Empire, in the 15th century, 1450-something. Which is a terrible thing. People were at war at the time. And, okay, after the fall of the Byzantine Empire, the Ottoman Empire, became a thing. Now, the Ottoman Empire wasn't just an empire, it was also a caliphate, which made it a religious empire. Does that mean anything? No, not really. I mean, let's be honest, most empires at that time had a driving factor, and religion often was a driving factor in most cultures. How weird would it be if, for example, in Europe, we keep talking about how we're going to take over or take back Constantinople. Now, I know there will be people out there who don't remember Constantinople, because Constantinople has been going by a different name ever since. It's now called Istanbul. But how weird would it be if European countries were to say, you know what, we're going to take back Istanbul. We're going to make Istanbul Constantinople again. And we keep doing that. How weird would that be? Would we allow that to happen? Or would we tell people who do that to shut the fuck up? Because, let's be honest, that's incitement to violence now, isn't it? But somehow, we cannot be given the same respect. Ayyuhal Muslimun, inna dhikra fathi al-Qustantiniya tubashiru bima ba'daha tubashiru bi fathi Roma qariban insha'Allah. I'm sorry, Rome will be conquered. Seems, seems like somewhat of a uh, call to violence, doesn't it? Well, surely that's not what he meant. Okay, so it wasn't hyperbolic. Here we have people shouting that they will take over the East and the West. I'm sorry, but can we please recognize this for what it is? Can we please say, yeah, you know what, this is, um, this is not good. Now, I have no problem with people living in this country. I have no problem with Muslims living in this country. But the country I live in is not a Muslim country. Nor should it become one. It has its own heritage. It has its own history. As does Rome. Let's be honest. But are we going to say, well, yeah, no, no, no. White countries have been so imperialistic. So maybe it's time for these people to be imperialistic. Yeah, but these people have been imperialistic for the longest time as well. Maybe even longer than most Western countries. I mean, the Ottoman Empire was a thing well, roughly until the First World War. 
when Ataturk recognized that the country was in dire peril and basically said, no, we have to become a secular country and we have to steer clear of the nonsense that is... Never mind, that's, that's me filling things in. Nonetheless, though, how come it's okay for these people to call out war against their Western neighbors? How come we can't mention this? How come our politicians are like, yeah, no, it's just a kook. It's just an idiot saying stuff like that. Yet we see an increase in terror attacks in, in the world, especially in the Western world. But well, let's be honest, we see an increase in terrorism in the Muslim world as well. Then again, most people dying from Islamic terrorism are Muslims. So there is that. I mean, isn't it time that as a United States, we're going to say, United Nations, sorry, we're going to say enough? We're not going to allow you to do this? Now, don't get me wrong, no country should attack Muslim countries, but at the same time, should we allow them to keep telling us how they're going to attack us? Whilst we open the doors for their men and women to come live in our society? Something tells me this is an issue. Something tells me this is a problem. And I would really love to see more Muslims stand up and say, yeah, we, we could do without this shit. We could live in peace with, with our neighbors, but not when we have people calling out for war against our neighbors. But then again, I understand why a lot of Muslims don't speak out. Remember when I said most people dying from Muslim terrorism are other Muslim? Those that speak out against these kind of idiots are the first to die. And we let them. Because we're not stepping in. Our governments aren't saying anything. No, 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 no. No, Islam is a religion of peace. Amazing. Like, share and subscribe if you feel so inclined. I really look forward to hearing your criticism. And uh, I hope to see you all next time.